Hello everyone, Golden Razor here. Welcome to Simfin, the budget-friendly sim racing channel. You probably clicked on this video because you are tired of the look and feel of your Logitech pedals. When I first started using the Logitech pedals, I had trouble with the brake pedal being too close to the gas pedal. Even when moving the Logitech pedals to a different position, I wanted a brake pedal that had more surface area so it would allow me to have a natural and comfortable feel when pressing down the brake and gas. Today, I will show you how to modify your pedals for only $9.99, I repeat, only $9.99, and get a more realistic feel out of your Logitech pedals. Make sure you stay tuned in to see the simple and easy process. Before we get started, there are a couple things that we'll need. First, we'll need an Allen wrench or a screwdriver to remove the Logitech face pedals. For the purposes of this video, I will be using the screwdriver to show the next steps. Next, we'll need a ruler to measure the distance for the holes to be drilled. Then we'll need a pen or a marker to mark where the holes will go. Next, we'll need a drill with an 11 and 64 inch drill bit. If you don't have one of these lying around, you can buy the drill bit at your local hardware store for $5. It is very important to note that anything bigger than 11 and 64 inch hole will make it really hard to safely secure your new pedal faces. That being said, if worse comes to worse, you could use a smaller drill bit carefully make the hole larger. Lastly, we'll need the new pedals we are adding. These can be found on Amazon or at your local automotive shop like AutoZone. There is a range of options available. I would highly recommend purchasing ones that you feel would best suit your needs as this process can be done on most face pedals you'll find. If you like the ones that I'm showing, I will have the product link in the description below. Before you start doing anything, make sure you watch this video the whole way through as it shows in-depth instructions of the process. Now that we have everything we need, you'll first want to start by unscrewing the face plates from your Logitech pedals. As I said, you can use an Allen wrench to get the job done. It's also important to note that when you are removing the screws, you should keep them organized with their own pedal type as we'll need these later on. We will now test for the placement of the pedals before we start. We will need to insert the screws and bolts that the new pedals came with. We will do this for all of our new pedals. The bag that the screws and bolts came with have clamps included. We do not need those. We will now line up the new pedals to ensure that the screws do not hit the base plate of the Logitech pedals. You can shift the pedals around until you have a decent placement for the new pedals. We want to estimate where the holes will be drilled and in my case, it will be on the second line and around the fourth line for my accelerator and at the first and third line from the top for the brake and clutch. Since we're all using Logitech pedals, the distance apart from each screw hole is 3.65 centimeters or 1 inch and 7 sixteenths. We will use our ruler to determine the measurement and mark where we will drill in the new screw holes. Now that that is finished, we will go ahead and make a pilot hole where our screws will go. We will have to make sure that the screws will be able to move through these holes. Once the holes are made, we can go ahead and screw these back on to the Logitech pedals. The great thing about this little neat trick is that you can use the same trick on different pedal sets. For example, the Fanatec CSL pedals, the Fanatec CSL Elite pedals, the Thrustmaster pedals, and even more. You just have to make sure that you measure the correct distance for the screw holes. I hope you found this video helpful. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell, because that's awesome. Once this is all done, let's go ahead, plug everything back in, and test out the pedals and see how they feel compared to the Logitech pedals. All right guys, so now that we're back, I just wanna show you, um, give you a little tour about what I did differently from the video. First things first, I changed this uh, to the really, really big pedal. Um, in the video, you can see that the original pedal set came with two of those. Um, however, I, I enjoy the larger surface. I had this one laying around. I will have a link in the description for this as well. Um, but what the really nice thing about this whole thing is, is you can buy any type of pedal and kind of just add in, you know what I mean? Um, just as long as you make those holes the exact same way, they're just, it is what it is, you know? You'll be able to choose whatever kind of pedals you want, so I'll just go ahead and give it a little test spin over here. Um, right off the bat, I can tell that 
the uh, there's a large difference in um, just the amount of brake pressure that you can do that. <laughs> My wheel wasn't clamped down, so had a little uh, a little boo boo right there. Um, but as you can tell, I really have a lot of throttle control over here. I really like that. Um, you can do this. The other thing is that you can really do this with pretty much any uh, pedals, like from the CSL DD to the Thrustmaster, like I mentioned. Um, the one thing that I, I will be doing that for the ones that I receive, I'm going to get some CSL DD pedals in um, early November, so we'll test it out and um, do the same thing for that pedal set because I want to test out how that is. Cause uh, Fanatec sells um, the CSL pedal pads or whatever. They're like an upgrade from the plastic version. So we'll just see how if if the same thing would will uh, will really be more helpful. And that and on top of that, it's just more customization that you can do. You know what I mean? It's just great. Um, the great thing you don't even have to wait to, to order on Amazon or anything like that because. Um, you can buy them at AutoZone, you can buy them at Advanced Auto Parts, whatever you have out there. And look how th smooth that braking is, it's just so nice. You have a lot more control, that's for sure. Um, the last thing I want to mention is that I will be having a video review of the new CSL DT pedals and then after the mod and whatnot. Um, I'm going to have a review of this pedal stand that I have here. Um, that should be pretty cool because I kind of wanted something that was raised above the ground, but I also didn't want my pedals to be moving all over the place, so I'll have a review on this as well. Um, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Um, Golden Razor here. Peacing out.